um, back again to, to do another math video. Um, so you've been talking about capacity, measuring capacity, how much something holds. Today we're going to learn a little bit about measuring mass. And measuring mass is how much something weighs. So when you go to the doctor's office or you step on a scale in your house, you're measuring how much you weigh. Okay, the mass. Um, and in grade one, um, what we do is we use um, different kinds of units to measure the mass. Um, we compare two things to see which one is heavier or has more mass, which one is lighter or has less mass. So that's the first kind of thing we're going to do. So I would like to compare a couple of items. Now, this is a balance scale or a pan balance. So when it's balanced, both sides, it should be pretty even. But if I'm, going to, I'm going to put one item in here and one item in here. I have an avocado. I'm going to compare an avocado to this plastic container. Okay? So I'm going to put the avocado in here, plastic container in here. So looking at the way the balance scale is, the avocado is heavier because it's down here. The plastic container is lighter because it's up here. Think about if you've ever been on... Um, a teeter-totter or a seesaw um, and with your brother or sister or friend and whoever's heavier goes to the bottom and the lighter person goes up. It's the same kind of thing. So the avocado is heavier. What if I have a lemon and an avocado? Let's see which one is heavier. Let's put the avocado here. Lemon. Okay. So I'm going to wait till it kind of doesn't this stop teetering. So these are a lot closer in mass than the plastic container and the avocado are. So the lemon is heavier, this side's down a little more, but it's not that much of a difference, okay? So they're similar mass, um, but the lemon is heavier than the avocado. So balance scales are really neat, and you could just, I mean, when you pick up two things in your hand, you can kind of tell which one's heavier, but this is a really fun way to kind of really see which one's heavier. So that's the first thing we do with mass. Um, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to actually measure the mass of these three items using a special unit. Okay, so we're going to measure the mass of these three things um, and the way we're going to do it is I need to balance the scale. So like I talked about before, when the side goes down, that the item in there is heavier than the item beside that is up. Um, but when both sides are equal mass or weigh the same, um, the scale is balanced. So the way we do that is you pick the item that you want to measure the mass of. I'm going to measure this because it's the lightest thing. I put it in one side. And now the unit I'm using are these little round plastic, um, let's call them little round donuts. So basically I'm going to add one of these in until the scale starts to move and both sides are balanced. Then I can say that this weighs a certain number of these. So let's get started. One, two, three. And my scale is balanced which means this side has the same mass as this side. So there's one, two, three. So if I was writing this down, the mass of this little plastic container is three round plastic donuts. So if the mass of this is three round plastic donuts and I use my scale again to compare mass, remember just checking my avocado is heavier. So I know my avocado is going to weigh more than three round donuts probably a lot. I'm going to start by putting in 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and see if I need to add any more. Okay, I do. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, okay, starting to move, but it's not balanced yet. 25, I'm going to put 26 and see what happens. 
26 down to a little bit too much. So I'm going to take that out. So the mass of the avocado is 25 of those plastic cubes of the little donut. So I know my lemon is a little bit heavier. So I'm going to put my lemon in. Okay, not balanced. And remember, there were 25 in here, so I need to balance. I'm going to keep going. 25, 26, 27, 28. Scale is balanced. So the mass of the lemon is 28 small round plastic donuts. So if I was going to order my items that I measured from least mass to greatest mass, this was three plastic donuts, so this is the least, this is the lightest. This one was 25 plastic donuts. And then this one was the heaviest item with 28. So the mass of the plastic container is a lot less than the mass of these two items. The mass of the avocado and the mass of the lemon are actually pretty close, but the lemon is a little bit heavier, okay? So the important words, um, that we are talking about today that I want you to really know are basically mass, which is how much something weighs, um, light, heavy, lighter, heavier, um, or equal mass. If the scale is balanced, it's equal. So something you could do, I know you probably don't have the balance scale, um, but there is a link to a little game um, that you can play from Math Playground, so if you can go play that. Um, the other thing is you can go around and pick items, pick two items, put one in one hand and the other in the other, and just say out loud, oh, the mass of this is greater than the mass of this, or this is lighter than this. Um, and then try to find two things that you think might have about the same mass, okay? So thanks for learning about mass with, with me today. Um, and I hope you have fun with the game, and we'll see you soon.